Hi everyone, welcome back to Funston TV. This is my trend. Today I'm sharing with you a first impressions of the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I'm the shade Natural Beige. I think it's the right shade for me. We'll find out today. This foundation retails for $49 Canadian dollars. It's available on the Sephora website. You can get 12 shades for this foundation ranging from the shades porcelain all the way to caramel. That's not a really wide range, but I think they're going to be launching additional colors coming this fall. This foundation is also oil-free. It's a natural finish and it's supposed to leave the skin looking really radiant. It's not a matte foundation, but it's like a dewy natural finish foundation. It's medium to full coverage and it's infused with coconut water, alpine rose, and hyaluronic acid. So the packaging looks like this. It's a really nice pink packaging and the bottle I really like. It's like this foggy glass bottle and it comes with a pump so that's really great. Just gonna shake it up a bit. So I have this much on. I'm gonna be applying it with a beauty blender today. It blends really nicely. It feels really nice on the skin. I think the color is a good match for me. It doesn't feel heavy. The coverage is just okay for now, but I think it's buildable, so I'm gonna be going in with another layer. It blends out really well. It's definitely a natural finish. As you can see, it's sort of dewy looking. Although I have oily skin, I really like to mix around my foundation sometimes. I really like the Neutrogena Health Skin Foundation and I like to mix it in with something a little more matte to get a really semi-matte finish. I love, again, the blendability, the color match is really nice. It looks like skin, like it feels, it feels super nice. It's a bit sticky right now, but I'm going to let it dry and see how it looks after. So this is how the foundation looks with one layer on. I'm just going to add a little bit of foundation on my hyperpigmentation spot right here. Okay, so it does an okay job at concealing, even though it says medium to full coverage. I feel like I would go in and conceal with an actual concealer. My dark spot with the foundation itself, I can still see it peek through, but it's not a big deal. With some foundations, I'm okay with just foundation and I don't need to go in with any additional concealer, but this one I feel like I should. Okay, so this is what the foundation looks like with the second layer around here. For people with dry skin, I feel like this would be a great foundation. It's definitely radiant and luminous looking. It's oil free, so that's really great for people with oily skin that want to wear this and have more of a natural finish. I'm going to let you know throughout the day how it wears. However, I'm definitely going to powder just a bit because I have oily skin and I don't want to look super, 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 super oily. So I think if right now it looks already this dewy, I'm going to look like an oily mess at the end of the day. So let me just powder a bit. Okay, so the rest of my makeup is on. I just applied some blush. I powdered and I set my makeup with a setting spray. I really like how it looks. It feels super light on the skin and I think it looks very flawless right now. I just have one layer plus a bit of additional foundation here like I said. So far so good. It is 3.18 p.m. right now and I'll check back soon. Hello everyone, it is now midnight. It's 12.02. I've had this foundation on for a total of about 9 hours. And as you can see, I did get shiny. I didn't blot, I didn't repowder throughout the day. So this is very good for a radiant natural finish foundation considering I have oily skin. I did powder at the beginning of the day, but 
for oily skin person, this is not that bad. It's really good because it didn't break up in any areas. I'm looking in the more close-up mirror and sometimes foundation tends to break up right here around the chin and between the brows right here and around the nose and nothing. It did not move. It's really long lasting. It has a great natural finish and what I like most about it is that you don't feel it at all on the skin. Foundations can tend to be sticky and you really feel heavy on the skin but this is really light. I think it might have to do something with the coconut water that's infused into this foundation but overall I really like this foundation. A big thumbs up to this foundation. The color is also a great match and it did not oxidize on me. I feel like it stayed true to color and the same all day so I'm really happy about that. So I hope you enjoyed my first impressions video. Please thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Let me know down below if you like this foundation or if you have any other foundation recommendations for me. I hope you're having a great one and I'll see you soon. Bye. Like a champ. No! Oops, you do? Yes. You're not gonna film another video?